How's it going? Doing good. Yo, what's up? Um, well, today I believe I'll be talking about, um, the purple pillow, purple pillow bed, and accessories. But it sounds terrible when I'm talking to my phone. I'm like, purple pillow, boy. And, um, but, uh, yeah. So, I don't really, I saw the commercials for this, and their commercials are so interesting and like mesmerizing and I I don't even know what to think when you watch them it's like oh this is really cool I want to buy this product and then after you watch it you're like wait a minute did I just get kind of like brainwashed I don't know what's going on but like I don't know about you guys but like when I saw the commercial I was like dude this looks dope as fudge nuggets on a hot Sunday morning and I was like I need to see this and I, I did some more research on YouTube, and apparently um, people have been fighting this white powder in it. And I looked at a lot of people's, what a lot of people have seen about it, and these these couple were talking about it on YouTube, and they, they seemed like really, like they had a really cool YouTube channel. And um, they were like, yeah, it was kind of hard, but we kind of got used to it, and now it's really enjoyable, and it's a really good pillow. And then they were like, hitting they're like you guys have all heard about this white powder but you know even if you hit it as hard as you can the powder won't come out it, you're gonna be fine it's all good and then she started hitting it really hard you see the powder coming out of the pillow and i was like oh god no and um so i was looking up what the powder is and all this crap and this dude who's like he needs to like go on anxiety medication like this this dude looks like he got issues he was, um, he said that he bought the purple pillow bed and he noticed the powder. So he called the company and he put a black shirt on the mattress and pulled it up and it was like tons of powder all over it. And he called the company and they said, um, that it's nothing to worry about and it's fine. And then he said, he started to go into detail and crap. And then the company got all like crazy and crap and started to sue him. Now, I don't know if this guy is crazy or not, because he seemed to have that kind of vibe about him. But if he's saying what is true, I would never buy a purple pillow. And, um, but, yeah, it's just crazy, because he went and got, he says he got some scientists from Harvard to look at it. And it was, I believe he said it could cause cancer and all this crap. But the cool part is about the mattress itself. The pillow and the mattress are basically the same thing. They're just a different size. Um, but the mattress has a special sheet cover that goes over it where I saw somebody testing it with a vacuum where they try to vacuum up all the stuff and there was no white powder in the vacuum and it was like perfectly good. So like I would get the bed, but I might not just to not support the company, but I would definitely not get the pillow, but that's just what I've heard. I don't really know. It looks, it looks crazy and sketchy all over. I don't know what to believe anymore. I don't know if what I'm saying right now is true. It's just, it's really confusing. And I would love to hear your thoughts about it in the comments. That's it for this topic, I believe. And, um, uh, catch you later. Yo, dogs, what's up? Um, just please be patient for a second. I haven't thought of a topic yet. <laughs> uh... You know what, let's talk about Irma. Hurricane Irma. Now, let's be honest, Irma's a fat girl's name. No, I don't mean to be like mean about anybody being overweight. There's nothing wrong with that, but it doesn't just sound like a fat girl's name. It sounds like a really mean fat girl's name. Like, most people are really nice, but that sounds like a really mean, aggressive, self-conscious bullying name which i think it's pretty accurate considering what we got here we got this gigantic hurricane coming in and flooding and ruining people's lives and um screwing crap up but to be honest in nature irma did some beautiful things 
like I looked into the woods and I um I there was this big creek and it got like <laughs> six times the size and I um all the trees dropped their green pine needles and um the green pine needles mixed with the brown leaves and it just made the most beautiful floor on the forest and um it was great and everything just looks so beautiful now but the thing is there's so much destruction and it's like if you want to look at the world as a of a big picture like talking about animals and everything in a total not just humans it's like kind of devastating and kind of scary but in the end it kind of made everything like have a fresh start you know but um for humans it's just terrible and you feel really bad and everything because you're like wow everything's getting messed up people are getting flooded like my mom said if your house gets flooded it takes months to recover because imagine how much water a mattress can hold it'll if it floods your room and all the water gets in your mattress you're never going to be able to sleep on that bed again and you're going to have to get a new mattress you're going to have to take all that time clean it out there's going to be all the creeks locally will be flooded and start going into your house with these minnows and leeches and you have to pretty much redo everything it's like a start over in the human world but not in a good way and um yeah Irma just really screwed crap up but for me not at all because I live on the highest elevation in Florida and that's pretty good for me because there was like no flooding <laughs> but I got like let me think nine days off of school freaking nine days I was so happy like oh my god it's not just like eh, school I have to do work like I hate school with a passion like school is terrible and I got to miss that I don't care if there's a freaking hurricane I don't care if like stuff happens I got to miss school and I'm happy about that but at the same time it's pretty terrible like um my cousin her house got crushed by a tree that fell over and there's a hole in her roof and there's a hole in her car and they have are still cleaning it up and it's terrible the repercussions that Irma's caused.